Hello guys, welcome to the learning MongoDB course and today in this video I would like to show you how to download and install the Mongo booster tool from the internet and set up on your Windows PC. Okay, so let's get started. You open your web browser and access to the mongobooster.com and go to the download page. And here we have three versions for Mac OS and Windows and Linux. And in this video, I'm using the Windows Windows 10, so I'll go ahead to download the version for Windows here. And currently, the, the, the version of the license for this tool is free, so you are able to use it. Okay, so after the download is done, we click on this to install it on Windows. And after the installation is done, it will automatically, automatically open the tool. Okay. And because I have used the Mongo Booster is before, so it will automatically display this one. And basically, after you install it, so it will show an other pop-up. I will show it for you. Yeah. Okay. So basically, after you install this one in the first time on your PC, so it will display the graphic user interface look like this one. And we have a connection uh, pop-up where you have to create a connection into the the um, MongoDB instant. Okay, so now you will try to click on the connect button now, and you cannot connect it, so you have to create an, the the connection as uh, a connection first. In order to create a co connection, firstly you have to make sure an instant of the MongoDB is running on your PC. Okay, so now I will guide you how to create create an instance of the MongoDB on the PC now. And this one is a folder. This one is a folder where I install the MongoDB on my PC. So now I open the window prom command prom. You copy this part. Yeah. MongoD and here this one is a structure of the database folder on of the MongoDB so you have to specify the data folder and inside the data folder you have to specify another folder named it DB if you name it with another name so when you install or run or create an instance of the Mongo, MongoDB on the PC so it will display the arrow okay so now you have to point it into this part of database. Okay, uh, so now you just go ahead to hit enter button to create an instance of the MongoDB. But currently I'm using an as a Windows service to run the, uh, to create the Mongo DB instant run it as a Windows service. So now I should stop it first. Why I why I work with the, the MongoDB instant uh, run it at Windows service because when I uh, open my Windows PC, so the service will automatically started. And after that, um, so when I using the the instant of the MongoDB uh, client on this PC like the graphic user interface tool, I now need to create an instance of the MongoDB over the command line first. Okay, so now I go ahead to disable it. 
it in Mongo, it running, so I should stop it for now. Okay, so now click click on this to create an instance of the MongoDB on this PC. Oh, okay, I will copy it, run it again. Maybe we have some trouble when we uh, disable the, 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 the instance of the MongoDB. Enter it. Here, you can see now the an instance of the MongoDB already started and it's waiting for a connection on this part. Okay, now I will go ahead to create some server name you look hot, name it here. Chien. Chien. Okay, left everything default for now. Go ahead to click on the test connection to do the testing. Yes, if the status on test connection is okay, that means you are able to connect into an instance of the MongoDB. Okay, click on save and connect here. Yes, it will display all of the data under this connection. I mean the collection under this. The query we have by default we have the admin and local database. Okay, so I hope the video will have fun for you. And after you finish this one, you know how to install Mongo Booster on your PC with Windows PC to work with the Mongo DB. Okay, so I will talk it in another video for how to play with this tool. Okay, bye-bye and see you later.